This video is best viewed in full screen mode and on YouTube that's this icon right here and if you have a high bandwidth connection uh, you also want to watch it in HD which is this icon right here. This video is to help you understand how the action list works. Uh, over here on the left is what we call the action list and if you click on this drop down list here uh, you have actions that can be entered into the action grid and uh, these actions are all alphabetized. Uh, also if you right click here on uh, what they call the row header you can have some options that pop up for you. Now the um, main thing this video is about is how to customize this list. If you go under the Windows menu and you select action list this brings up a dialog and the left side of this dialog is all about uh, what shows up in this drop down list. So if I put in here my new action and I save it, now when I go over here to my list, you'll see I have my new action that shows up. And I'm going to save those changes. Uh, go to the action list again and what I want to show you too is how this retire action works. If you have an action and you've been using it for a while and you decide, well geez I just no longer want to use that, you can uh, click on that and uh, it won't show up in the list anymore. Uh, also you can rename one of these actions um, and it'll change it in all of your records but uh, you really only want to rename it if you're going to rephrase it uh, or maybe do a uh, fix a typo. Uh, you wouldn't want to change uh, bankruptcy checked to um, demand sent because that would totally mess up the logic of all your records. So if you have a typo you can go in here and you can change it um, or you can rephrase it if you want to put bankruptcy the full word here that would be fine but you don't want to dramatically change the meaning of the action because that'll change it in all of your records and it won't make sense anymore. Okay, over here on the right is what your uh, action grid over here will look like when you create a new record. So I can insert a row, insert a row, I go over here and put in my new action. You can move rows up, move them down. Uh, you can insert a space. Um, whatever is here is exactly what's going to show up in this grid when you create a new record, um, even the blank spaces. And if you want to get rid of these blank spaces at the end, you can just say delete row. Okay, so we're going to save that, close it, and we're going to create a new record. And we're going to look at this here. And if we go to our actions list, you will see that this here exactly matches what's here. And you have the room to add in up to 100 actions, so that should cover you pretty good. And that is everything in the world you ever want to know about your action list.